worm. Prepare yourself. Damn sane. You guys ever be working at your job all night long? Then somewhere around 3 a.m. in the morning you start thinking, Hey, wouldn't it be awesome if they just remade Dragon Ball GT? Well, that happened to me a couple nights ago. And it was awesome. Just the thought of it, just the things I would improve and the way I would do it, honestly, the way I would do it is I would do it in a very similar fashion to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now, the original Full Metal Alchemist, for those of you guys who don't know, was uh, slightly based on the manga, but it was coming out at the same time as the, as the manga, so they had to put so much filler into it that it really, at the end of the day, didn't resemble anything like the manga. While Drag, uh, Dragon Ball Full Metal Brotherhood is just the manga redone into the anime, and it is amazing. For those of you guys who haven't seen Full Metal Brotherhood, go ahead and watch it. Or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, go ahead and watch it, dude, because it is amazing. It's one of the best pieces of anime that I that I, that there is out there, honestly, and that I've seen in the past ten years. So go ahead and watch that. But that's the exact same way I would do Dragon Ball GT. I would have Akira Toriyama first and foremost be ahead of the game. And personally for me, I would love to see some things from GT make it into Dragon Ball Super, especially since they haven't even gotten to the point in GT that, that GT starts off in Dragon Ball Super yet. But some part of me really would like to see Dragon Ball GT remade, even remade in the, 2000, in the possible 2018, 2019, and 2020 movie movies a trilogy of, of remade GT would be amazing in my opinion not a lot of people like GT but this is the way that I would make it redone so first and foremost uh, the new animation I wouldn't mind having new animation uh, maybe stick with some of the similar techniques of the older animation because honestly that's one thing that you can say about Dragon Ball GT the animation was not bad for a lot of it it was actually pretty damn good it was very close to Dragon Ball Z and I very much enjoyed it what I didn't enjoy was the music the soundtrack was awful it was terrible in my opinion it was just so slow and slow paced and, and made it always made me feel like I was waiting for something like I was waiting for something to happen like like conversations were just tedious and that's really really not a w good way to start off a series and to continue it and there was no epic soundtracks this is coming off the u.s broadcast of dragon ball z with the bruce Vall connor score and even the dragon ball kai has done scores that are not bad in my opinion not as good as the u.s broadcast in my opinion but not bad and something similar like that to for dragon ball gt would be appreciated something very similar from dragon ball super if they just took soundtracks from dragon ball super which has had some great soundtracks at this point very very much on par with with my version of dragon ball z um the in the 90s where it has where it has the bruce ball connor score if they took some of the, the the dragon ball super inspired tracks or dragon ball super tracks and just put it into this it would be awesome and so definitely a new soundtrack needed needs to be made then the next thing that needs to be made is or next changes that need to be made is first of all pan needs to stop stop being annoying she needs to be badass have a better voice actress in my opinion because the voice actress for the gt version was just annoying her voice is annoying and grating um and she needs to be a super saiyan at least at minimum then you need to have then you have goku goku never put him as a kid again never do that do you you can't do it in a good way obviously so don't do it doesn't make any sense for him to be a kid and then become super saiyan 4 and become an adult just don't do it if you want to make a whole arc about goku becoming a kid keep him as a kid but not as annoying and make sure he's out of his power i mean but again in dragon ball gt and this reboot ish rebirthing uh brotherhood version i would have it be that he he is an adult he never turns into a kid the beginning of the arc would start at the baby saga the baby saga in my opinion was the best thing about dragon ball gt it was intriguing it added to the lore of the saiyans uh the shadow dragon saga had good ideas but in the end of the day it really had only three 
good, really good fights and solid, and and several a handful of uh, solid moments in it. While the rest of it was weird dragons with weird powers that you had to take down and was annoying. But yeah, so start out the baby saga. The baby saga needs to be first and foremost. I would say at the very beginning of this, you have Goku and Vegeta, and they are both uh, Super Saiyan threes. That's as high as they can go. Give Vegeta Super Saiyan 3. It has been 20 some years. Give the guy Super Saiyan 3. And this is the best way to do it. He's Super Saiyan 3 in this. And then have them be always sparring. In the very beginning. Fighting. Uh, testing each other. And they're still combatants. And they're becoming better friends. Because of this. But then. Baby comes. And slips into Vegeta. That sounded dirty. Didn't mean to. He takes Vegeta's body over and then have that be the progression of Dragon Ball. Uh, if you want to add Oob in there, I would add Oob, but I would never, ever, ever fuse him with Boo. No. If you want to do anything with Oob, the best way to do it is have Oob have some sort of Naruto-like transformation where he can transform in like a quasi version of himself and, Ma and Kid Boo. And if he lets Kid Boo take over too much, he becomes way more like Kid Boo. And then, like, I could see like half of Oob's face being Oob and the other half being Kid Boo or something similar like that, where, you know, he can let it overwhelm and, 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 and overtake him and become extremely more powerful because it's adding both of their powers together. Something similar like that. I, that's the way I would add Oob. Again, I would have Pan. I would definitely throw Bola in there as a Super Saiyan, as a fighter, like in Dragon Ball Multiverse. She needs to be in the forefront. And that is the biggest thing. So, the whole baby saga comes and goes very similar ways that it can go but one change baby becomes super saiyan 4 this needs to happen i it's weird that it hasn't it at the moment where goku in my opinion at the moment where goku turns into super saiyan 4 there has this should be even a little bit farther after or at that same moment Baby Vegeta needs to turn Super Saiyan 4 as well because why would the Bloods Waves only focus on Goku and not hit Vegeta as well? Because Vegeta turning into Super Saiyan 4 through Bloods Waves through a machine and then his clothes change miraculously later on in the series in the Shadow Dragon is just dumb in my opinion. So if they did it at the same time, it would even if Vegeta didn't turn fully like himself into a Super Saiyan 4 as Baby like it looked more like Baby as a Super Saiyan 4 and then he couldn't turn Super Saiyan 4 for a while and then transformed right out of random at least it would make more sense because oh Baby turned Super Saiyan 4 my cells retain that information now I can turn to Super Saiyan 4 that is how it needs to be done everything else going going forward there needs to be no hell arcs don't leave piccolo in hell where you can easily pick him out of hell and and keep him on earth do not put piccolo in hell um none of that stuff make sure the rest of the characters are on the same on, on, on not the same playing field but at least relevant to the story uh the super 17 arc honestly i would scrap it unless dr jero he's dead so honestly i would scrap that whole arc maybe throw in maybe throw in a brand new arc you guys can do it you guys have done super great in my opinion so far you guys can go ahead and make a brand new arc in the middle right after the baby saga that we don't know anything about so that would be pretty epic maybe pertaining to the androids you can have it pertaining to and you can combine 17 and android 13 from the movies i don't care what you guys do uh, just the way that Super 17 was made is confusing. It doesn't make it really. It really doesn't make any sense. And it just it was just too short. It was dumb. I, honestly, I didn't I didn't like it. I like Super 17 as a character, but I, the way he looks as a model. But besides that, it was just dumb. Continuing forward, we get into the Shadow Dragon Saga, and the Shadow Dragon Saga should really be the same way. I think. I think the Shadow Dragon Saga should be that the dragon balls are overused they turn into dragons but don't have just three dragons look cool and be cool ice shenron nova shenron and omega shenron 
make all of them cool make all of them amazing make all of them have different quirks and abilities that you have to come past but make them look cool because a lot of the dragons in dragon ball gt looked like crap looked like utter garbage it's it's cringy to get through those episodes before you get to the fights between nova and ice it really is i've rewatched dragon ball gt I know what I'm talking about. It just is cringy to me. And so I would make every single dragon look cool and, and, and original and unique with unique powers and just not something that you want to just stop looking at and not never look at again. That's the first thing I would do to change that. I would have introduced Gogeta earlier in the series. I would have introduced Gogeta like fighting against one of the dragons that is extremely powerful even though it's not close because you could really make this very similar to how bleach does the um, espada arc you can make these the espada you can make these the captains of the uh the 13 squad captains or whatever it was from bleach you can definitely do that with these dragons it, it could be a very similar thing it could be a very intriguing arc if they come in they're broken and they kidnap bulma because she's the one who keeps making dragon radars and they have to save bulma even though it'd be like oh yeah they're knocking off bleach it could be more of an homage to bleach and it could be amazing and, and it's just awesome and i would love to see that but they just mishandled it in dragon ball gt continuing forward again like i said Gogeta needs to be earlier on. It needs to be just like Vegito and Dragon Ball Super where the power doesn't last 30 minutes. It lasts maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So they can use it every little while. But Vegeta grows more that he doesn't want to use it. He'd rather just be a Super Saiyan 4 and use that. So when they come up against the Omega Shenron and the, and, and the, Shin, the Shin Shenron or whatever his name was that doesn't make that nobody really cares about or, or remembers it's more of a of a greater moment because of the fact that we know that vegeta doesn't really want to become gogeta and so have gogeta still defeating omega we can do that it's fine and then at the very end um you can have goku leaving on the dragon but i would add another arc where you have in the future what happens just like the movie that showed a goku jr and vegeta jr and their whole little sort of story i would have that be the final arc of dragon ball gt because it deserves its own arc as long as you don't call him goku jr or vegeta jr make brand new names you can do it you guys can do it you guys have done it you guys have made good arcs you have made uh, good characters so far you guys in good names make a new name for go for the goku descendant and or uh yeah, the Goku Descendant and Vegeta Descendant. You guys can do it and have a whole brand new arc with them. Maybe something a little bit more grounded, maybe not grounded. Who knows um, what it could be. But that's how I would end Dragon Ball GT. And that's how I would make Dragon Ball GT Brotherhood be awesome. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below with how you guys would remake GT. Or some of the parts you guys would like to make remake from GT. Let me know. Drop me a like if you like my video. And this is going to be Dragon Ball Black. Signing off.